hey, let's close up a month and open up a new one. How about it? Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thanks for joining us. Monday, Monday. Happy good week to you. Once again, we have a fairly light week in the sky interrupted by Thursday (laughs) where we have an interesting couple of conjunctions and a sign change. That's really how this month is going to unfold. It's like a roller coaster. You know, it's like a couple of of those dips that don't get you excited about anything and then all of a sudden you go over a cliff, well, or up the hill. It's going to be one of the two. As March unfolds, we're going to have quiet periods interrupted by we. This week is not the first we, though. That's that's next week. But we do have a good one on Thursday. Let's talk about it. So basically, we're following the moon until then, literally. Nothing today in the sky as far as direct aspects. Luna entered Gemini yesterday, stays there until 9.40 tomorrow night when it moves home to Cancer. So today and tomorrow, you put your analytical hat on and you explore all sides or both sides of the issue. And then beginning on Wednesday, you feel your way through for the next couple of days. March begins on Wednesday with no direct aspects in the sky. And then Thursday, that's when things get interesting. Early in the morning, the two benefics kiss. Venus and Jupiter conjoin. That one's a hot kiss, too, because it's in Aries. Then at 9.35 that morning, Mercury conjoins Saturn in Aquarius at 29 and a half degrees. I don't think that's as much of a kiss as a pat on the butt because later that afternoon, just before 6 p.m., Mercury leaves Aquarius for Pisces. And that's the fireworks for this first week of March. I'm going to be playing, and would you join me, that aspect of the two benefics, that conjunction on Thursday morning of Venus and Jupiter in Aries. It's like, get out your wish list. This is one of those little blank check aspects from the universe. I mean, come on, it's in Aries, right? Not only the power, but the initiation, the thrust, the drive. In fact, we should say thank you, universe, for giving us these three days before that aspect to really get our house, our manifesting house, in order. We won't see this aspect again until May of 2024. So yes, this one is worth alert the media Boy, don't you wish the media covered this kind of stuff? <laughs> hey, duddle up, duddle up, here's a big breaking news story. Venus and Jupiter will be conjoining on Thursday. You have three days to get your manifesting list in order. Now, I got to tell you, to me, that's news. And I love this because on Thursday, when this aspect takes place at uh, 1235, basically a.m. in the morning, Eastern time, as it always is around here, then it will be in the fifth house. It happens at 12 degrees, 8 minutes Aries in the fifth house. So we could think about children. We could also think about fertility because that comes under the fifth house. This is in Aries, which is the springtime, which is the new birth time. So what would you like to give that fertility to? The energy is there. The aspect is coming. So how would you like to apply it? And then, dipping back into Mark Edmund Jones' book on horrorary here, the fifth house deals with pleasure of any kind. So here is a blank check from the universe aspect about bringing fertility to whatever pleasures you. No apologies, no embarrassments, no taboo, no blushing. Fifth house, go for it. Remember Steve Forrest's line on the fifth house from the Elements series? I don't remember which book, maybe the Book of Fire, since it's ruled by the sun, but he said it's like the cosmic gods marched you down the cosmic diving board and said, get yourself down there and have yourself some fun in that context. Now what are you going to create? Well, if nothing comes to mind yet, you have three days to get ready. And speaking of days to get ready, you now have two days to get ready for our first book club meeting. Kristen is going to be doing this on Zoom now, and all of the information is on our Discord channel. That's where you're communicating with her about all the updates and all the events. If you're not familiar with what we're talking about, you can check it out at funastrologybookclub.com. That will take you to a video that will take you to all the details. going to be a year-long or rest-of-the-year-long, 10-months-long journey 
of unpacking sun sign astrology. It's going to be fun. Have a great day. Enjoy that Gemini moon as your mind bounces around like a ping pong ball, and we'll see you back tomorrow. Have a great day. Sending you love.